All right, this is fourth grade, module one, lesson six. And in this lesson, we're going to begin, we're going to be finding one, ten, or a hundred thousand more or less. So we're going to be adding or subtracting things like a thousand or ten thousand or a hundred thousand. So let's get going on this. So it says, label the place value chart. Well, let's do that first. So I like the fact that they're asking us to label instead of just automatically giving us one filled in already. So I'm going to fill this in, thousand. And then because it's going to get a little cramped, I have to zoom in, 10,000. And then... A hundred thousand, hundred thousand, and then what's after a hundred thousand? That would be millions. All right, now we can zoom out. Woohoo! So I like the fact that Eureka Math. Whoa is requiring students to do make their own charts rather than uh, the easy way or the lazy way of um, you know providing it for them. So I like that. So anyway, so let's get going on this. So label the place value chart. Use place value disks to find the sum or the difference and uh, write the answer in the standard form right here. Okay, so it says 100,000 less than 500,000 uh, 560,313. So let's model that part right here. Okay, that's the first thing we have to do. So it says 560,000. All right, so let's use blue. So 500 means we're going to have 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the hundred thousands. 60,000 means we're going to have 6 in the 10,000 section. Now I'm going to make it a vertical uh, 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So here I was kind of making a horizontal 10 frame and then I had to switch because it just didn't look like I had enough room. So there's our 560,000 and now we have 313. So that's going to be three hundreds and 13. There we go. So I've modeled it. Now the directions say 100,000 less. So what does that mean? Well, it means we are going to cross off one of these 100,000s. So what are we left with? Well, we're left with four hundred thousands. still have six in the 10,000s. We still have nothing in the thousands. And we still have three, one, and three in our hundreds, tens, and ones place. So the the answer in standard form is 460,313. So that's the idea of how to use a place value chart um, to help us understand how to add or subtract um, these powers of 10, rather than just having students kind of rely on the, just the naked numbers, we really want to try as parents and teachers to try and give them some sort of physical representation, some pictorial representation, so that students have a chance to really make um, sense of the numbers. Uh, I'm not going to do all of these, but oh, let's do uh, problem D. So problem D way over here, if a student wanted to, the student could make the place value chart. And I'm going to do this really quick. And with the magic of video editing, uh, I'm done already. And so now let's model that 442,210 right here. So let's grab my pen and let's model it. And I'm going to model it using uh, vertical 10 frames. So here's the 440. Two, and then 200, 10, and then we have no ones. All right, and then it says we are going to add 10,000. Well, that's really easy. All we have to do is add a dot right here in the 10,000s. So what is our 
remaining answer? Well, we still have four in the hundred thousands, but now we have five in the ten thousands, and everything else stays the same. So our answer is 452,210. Now, parents and teachers, uh, if when students are ready to just go straight to the numbers and they can kind of see the place value and they understand what's going on, let them do it. Uh, this place value chart is just to provide scaffolding to allow access for everybody to do this math. So here, we're supposed to fill in the empty boxes. So we have some sort of pattern going on here. And we're going to try and fill in these missing boxes. So we have these two numbers here. And we can see that you've got 321, 321. I've got 700 thousands right here, 700 thousands. So it really looks like, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, it really looks like the only thing going on is that Here's a 6 in the 10,000s, and here's a 7 in the 10,000s. So it looks like what has happened is we have increased, so we've increased by 10,000. So that's what it looks like it's always going to do. Once we, we've identified the pattern, that means it's always going to stay true. They're not going to trick us and uh, switch up the pattern on us any. That, that's not the way math works. Not interested in tricking people. So we know that we are going to add 10,000 each time. Add 10,000, add 10,000, and add 10,000 here. So working backwards, let's do this one right here. We're going to have 700,000. But instead of having 6 in our 10,000s place, we're going to have a 5. And then 4 in the 1,000s place. And 3, 2, 1. Uh, way over here, our 10,000s is going to place, is going to go from 7 to 8. So we're going to end up with... Seven, eight, four, three, two, one, meaning seven hundred eighty-four thousand three hundred twenty-one, and again we're going to add another ten thousand. That's going to bump us up to seven hundred ninety-four thousand three hundred twenty-one, and sure enough, we can see that this answer right here is ten thousand higher than the previous. So we we know we did it right, and the idea could be. If students wanted, we don't, we're not going to do it here in the video, but students certainly could build a place value chart and they could take a number that was given and model it and then compare using the models. And that might, might make it more visible for some of your students. And the last slide for this video, in 2012, in 2012, Charlie earned an annual salary of $54,098. And then it says at the beginning of 2013, Charlie's annual salary was raised by $10,000. So we're going to add $10,000. So how much money will he earn? Well, if we wanted to use a place value chart, let's do that. So here's our ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. And let's model. We're going to model this number by saying, okay, we're going to have five in the ten thousands, four in the thousands, nothing in the hundreds place, but we are going to have nine in the tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then eight in the ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there we go. I'm doing, I'm using some vertical uh, ten frames here. And now we're going to add 10,000. So that means we're just going to Put one more here in the 10,000s place. So what does that mean we're going to end up with? Well, that means we're going to end up with 6 in the 10,000s place. And everything else stays the same. 
So that is how much money he earns, which is $64,098. And that wraps up 4th grade module 1, lesson 6, where we are adding or subtracting 1, 10, or 100,000 to a given number.